What's up everyone, welcome back to us by Pikmin 2. In this episode, we are going to continue on with the Awakening Wood. Hopefully I'm going to start off the next cave in this part. Or at least I'll be able to get everything set up. And get a few more blue Pikmin. Might as well get them to start working on taking that back. Oh, there's a pellet there. Oh, how did I miss that? You can kill the wog poles things. Uh, I forget the actual name. I think it's wog poles. Something like that. You can kill them if you want. I never really bother. Just for the fact that they are very annoying to kill. So blue Pikmin, just like the first game, they can survive in water, which is very helpful. There we go. Also in this game, I'm not sure if it was in the first game or not, actually. If you have just a few idle blue Pikmin near the water, and a, a Pikmin that isn't blue falls in the water and starts drowning, they can actually go pick up that other Pikmin and throw them to, sh throw them to shore. I will kill you. It will happen. But yeah, that's very helpful for, you know, just little areas. Oh, of course, of course. You fail. Blue Pikmin, you failed me. But yeah, in little tiny areas, that, that really helps if you don't have much land to walk on. Also, according to the Pikmin wiki, blue Pikmin are more likely to be eaten. I don't know why. They just are. Mario Paint. Decorative goo. So as they work on that, I'm going to get the blue Pikmin to take back those bodies that they failed so badly at in, in the first place. That guy isn't respond yet. No. Okay, I guess they'll have to take it back one at a time. Okay, Louie, you know what you must do. Faster! Move faster, Pikmin! I want to see if I can kill this guy. Just by punching him. Round, round she goes. When she stops, nobody knows. Oh, wait. She's about to stop. You will die. Got a full army going after him. There we go. Really? Only one? Hmm, that's strange. Thought it was more than that. Hmm. 
Gim take that back. No, I only want yellows. Is I'm working on the electric gate here, guys. You don't want to fry. Or maybe they do. Maybe they're all emo Pikmin. Maybe that's why they volunteer their lives to die. They're just all emo. Or they're just damn loyal. Alright, is that all the Pikmin in this area? Okay, it is. Okay, good. So due to the amount of time I have, I'm not going to be able to start the next cave in this part. Well, not this part, but this day. So I'm going to collect up all my Pikmin now. Hopefully they can get rid of that gate so I can just go right in as soon as tomorrow starts. Oh, that was good timing. I love how, like, I didn't even tell them to go after that, and they still tried to get me berries. Anyways, I'm going to go to Sunset. See what other stupid things the present has done. Oh, FYI guys, we now have all the types of Pikmin you can get in this game. At least the ones you can keep. There's a, one more type that you can get in caves, but they won't leave the cave. Hmm, not bad. I just took a call from my lone agent. He has the scariest voice I've ever heard. While you two are dawdling about, my life hangs by a thread. Get to work, slackers. How much money did I get today? Seriously, let's... 140. That isn't... Well, that's a bit slack compared to yesterday, but come on. Be, be reasonable. And I do believe we have one set uh, finish now. You got the survival series. These sell like hockey takes cakes to scientists and ent entrepreneurs. And now you get a sales pitch. A dependable item in crucial times. Stay safe by keeping one at home and one at the office. It is indispensable. If you are health conscientious, buy this. I'd rather my advertisements better. Thank you very much. Anyway, so we're going back to the Awakening Wood today. Okay, so I'm immediately going to get all my white Pikmin. 15 purples. 25 reds. 25 yellows. And hopefully the rest can be, yeah. Not 25 blues, but don't really need blues. Not for the cave I'm about to go to. Uh, be nice if I had 
a bit of nectar though. There's grass right over here for that. Any more? A little bit more? One more drop? Oh, come on. Has to be one more. There we go. I think we have every. Oh, of course. There has to be like one. No, two leaves. That's ruining the group. Small land is very hard to get uh, all your Pikmin up there without losing a. Eh? Well, what was I getting stuck there? So you have at last reached the higher ground. Congratulations are in order. Wait, why is this? My seismic sensors are picking up tremors deep below. What force is at work in the depths of this planet? It could just be tectonic stuff, normal geo, you know, activities. But no, according to this game, every time there's like a tremor, it's due to like monsters underground. Japan earthquake. Something happened underground. But it wasn't natural. It was by some creature. The Bull Black's Kingdom. Owned. Okay, so where is the treasure? Over here? Okay, now we have an orange bull barb. What's different about these guys is, unlike most other types of bull barbs, you don't have to touch this these guys to, to wake them up. They, I think they have like really, really sensitive hear hearing. Just get near them and they'll wake up. Massive treasure there. Don't remember, is there a treasure up there? Crystal Clover. Okay, I guess there isn't a treasure up there. Wait, I haven't got my money. I guess one more sub level. Then I'll end off the part. No. Why was there blues and whites in there? Fail. Oh, fail. You can make it. Come on. Okay. The rest of you come down. I can get more to work on it. Oh, you! You must die! Now, depending on the color of the Dweebo, is what attack they have. Since this one's red, it has a fire attack. So, red Pikmin are not affected. There's also poison Dweebos, electric Dweebos, and, well, the most annoying one, 
I'll show you later. At least the most annoying non-boss one. Ooh, very nice. Tear stone. Let them take that back. Anyways, I hope you in I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2. And I'll see you all next time.